So open match today at Alf Church. Been a bit lucky with the draw. Drawn peg 27, which is a good peg. And also peg 24 hasn't been drawn, so that's given me a little bit of room. Um, and also I've had a few fish like kicking up dirt before we started, uh, sort of just away from the bank. So I've just literally quickly put a few pellets on my 13 meter line and then literally dobbing maggots down well not the edge edge probably about two meters off the bank and unbelievable i've actually like stuttered of the rig i don't know if you know it and yeah the float's still gone under and uh obviously got a carp on the end so happy days but that was the only one i caught dobbing um he obviously caught that one and didn't see no bay waves going off so it wasn't like millions of fish sort of spooked because it is quite shallow and obviously as you can see there's no wind so the fish did show themselves when they were present down the edge as I discovered later on in the match when I fed some bait which I felt I should have fed more sooner really but hindsight's a wonderful thing just it's a bit of a strange sort of thing at the moment we're in november and yet it's really mild and yet the fish i don't know i think they don't know what to do so it's really awkward knowing how much to feed to be honest rig wise i wouldn't mess around um i've got a 2.3 hollow elastic 020 main line and then down the edge i've got um 018 hook length and then an open water 018 mainline to an 015 up length. So, um, yeah, don't learn the hard way, don't mess around with light lines on this lake. I mean, the fish isn't even that big, and yeah, it's giving me a bit of jet. Obviously, be careful to make sure the fish don't go underneath the stages. Brilliant start to the match, and probably one of the luckiest carp I think I've ever caught. Especially hindering uh, my presentation. So I tried dobbing around and moving around, chasing them around, just got a couple of very sort of like iffy bites, and then just nothing. I think the iffy bites were literally just liners and. The, the swirls and the tiny little bit of dirt that was kicked up before commotion before the match started that stopped so obviously me catching that idiot fish was obviously sort of like spooked at a few that were there um, so for those who don't know it 27's got like a little bit of a deep hole to the right so about sort of 13 to sort of like 16 meters it's definitely a lot deeper. If you go to your left, I'm not joking, it's literally half the depth. So you can see why a lot of fish get in here in the winter. Um, so just fishing a John Walker float, 0.3 gram. Didn't see the point of fishing an heavier float today because obviously there's just no wind. And this is why you want to be fishing quite strongish gear. Because this fish is gone, so I think it's going to surface in a sec. They are nuts. Thing is, if you fish something that's really, really heavy elastic, then nothing funny, you're just going to pull out of them or break your pole or both. So just the beauty of other kits.
So definitely a waiting game. So just tapping in a few pallets and just sitting there waiting. Obviously, the video is properly edited. Obviously, you just don't want to sit there watching me motionless. So yeah, definitely waiting for bites. Just fished a six mil expander on the hook, and then just literally fed a few fishery micros and a couple of fishery fours, just nice and soaked. And this is what I'm saying. Like, loads of people think that like this fish would have come off. Oh yeah, mate, that's definitely foul hooked. And you see the fish. I'm pretty sure this surface is pretty far out. The video is good enough to see it. There you go, the surface there. Not be funny, that must be easily 20 meters of elastic. So just trying to turn it. So I worry if I keep putting sections on it, end up in a uh, mouse bag. Which is like 40 yards away. The good thing about I like about this lake is you can be very little bait, sit there and wait to like set your trap because you don't have to worry about a little fish like biting you out because there's hardly any little um, nuisance fish, so to speak. It's so, like when it gets really cold, you can literally just fish single or double maggot and you don't have to worry about it. it's going to get bitted out. Just got the Mava Triacool Elastic through the top kit.
so started feeding down the edge it was obviously just kindering a few micros bit of corn um, and to be honest we just put maggots in it's just so much better but it's obviously you got to be careful like feeling your way into the sort of the pegs at times because obviously you know you don't want to start pitting with a quantity of bait that just makes the fish back off it's so like I said earlier in the video it's just a bit awkward really knowing how much to feed and when to feed well I'd say that about fishing full stop to be honest So I had a real nice day, didn't quite make the 100 pound in weight, I had 99 pound, um, won the, our little knock up, there's only 13 people fishing I think, but even still, good fun, nice day, makes a change for it not to be raining, even though we, we do need the rain. I had 15 carp and one barbell, so as you can see from the weight, it's a pretty good stamp. The backup weights are pretty decent as well. Liam had 86 pound, and Tony had 83 pound. All the weights are uh, at the end of the video, so you can have a look.